we foster metacognitive awareness in our students? Along with executive function, which we defined in video one, metacognitive awareness plays a critical role in successful learning. Metacognitive awareness is the ability to think about how one thinks. When helping students to engage in the learning process, we need to ask them to think about how they learn, how they think, how their strengths and difficulties affect their learning, what strategies work best for them. This is the first step in helping students develop a self-aware approach to tackling challenges in school. Another important way to foster metacognition is through the use of strategy reflection sheets. These reflection sheets, which are used consistently throughout the SMARTS program, ask students to reflect on their application of strategies to various school assignments. Assigning a strategy reflection sheet for classwork, homework, or for a test requires students to think about the strategies they have used to complete their assignments. The assignment is no longer simply about content, it is about process. Students begin to understand how they learn, how they think, and how they approach their schoolwork. When students begin to recognize that process is more important than end product or answer, they are more open to learning executive function strategies. Over time, they recognize that these executive function strategies enable them to produce quality work effectively and efficiently. Strategy instruction takes time. The first few times students fill out strategy reflection sheets, they may report that they do not enjoy using strategies and that strategies are a waste of time. Gradually, students will get to the point where they recognize that strategies save time and make their work easier, even if it takes more time to get started. Quick tip, using incentives to promote strategy use and metacognitive awareness is a great way to get students to engage in strategic and self-aware approaches to learning. You could give extra credit when students use strategies or complete strategy reflection sheets. This does more than motivate students to try out strategies or fill out reflection sheets. It also shows that you, as the educator, recognize the importance of the process your students are using. Another method for promoting metacognition in your classroom is to allocate time for a strategy share. During a strategy share, students share their favorite strategies that they have used over the past week. This allows students to see that their peers are becoming more strategic, encouraging them to adopt new strategies as well. This is also an opportunity for students to discuss and share strategies that they have created and that work for them. 10 minutes, two to three times a week is ideal. This promotes a strategic classroom culture where all students are asked to participate and share their strategies. Strategy boards are another great way to promote a self-aware approach to strategy use. Consider dedicating one of your walls in your classroom to strategies. You can post strategies that you have taught as well as strategies that your students have created. This serves as a visual reminder and encourages students to apply strategies while they work. Some teachers have a special section set aside for the strategy of the week. Each week, the students vote for one strategy, which is added to the board. Over the course of months or years, the board will become a rich resource for your students, reflecting the culture of strategy use in your classroom. In the next video, we will explore best practices for strategy instruction. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please contact us at info at researchild.org.